Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a really long video and it's gonna be me sitting down talking to you about my whole wedding day. This is gonna be a really long video, so if you can, take a minute, go make yourself a cup of tea and then get comfy because I'm literally just gonna sit here and talk at the camera about my day. I'm currently, as I'm filming this, am I two weeks? since the wedding day I can't remember and things are starting to get a little bit hazy so I thought I'd better sit down now before it's too late and I start losing memories so I'm gonna sit down and discuss sort of from maybe a little bit of the day before setting the scene um, and then probably up to when we go to London because then that's when I started vlogging I started vlogging as soon as we were in London I'm definitely gonna incorporate some pictures if I can mental note to myself a mental note to me editing this video to incorporate pictures because I know some of you aren't on Instagram um, which is where I obviously put stuff so let's discuss on the Wednesday I dropped pee off at my friend George's house who's got a little girl called Tilly and she had her from nine till two so I had that space of time to sort everything out so I dropped stuff off at my dad's because my dad had pee for the duration whilst we were away I picked up my flowers from Morrison's because I made my own bouquet of flowers I did peas as well and then um, came home and I did so much housework, I just got on top of everything. Then picked P up and then she went down for a nap so then I was able to actually arrange my bouquet of flowers. Um, and then by that point she woke up, I then obviously was mum and dealt with her. And then at about 7 o'clock my friend Hayley came over. Now I've spoken about her before. I'm hoping before this goes live, my sort of wedding countdown video will go live. Hayley is basically one of my longest friends. I have known her 15 years, I think we worked it out. She's my longest and oldest friend. We met in year seven in a park of all places. I seem to meet all my friends in park. And uh, she was looking for a 50p, so that's a backstory about how I met her. But I will refer to her in this video as Wench. I just call her Wench. We always have done since year nine. Probably shouldn't be using those words in year nine. It's not... I don't, basically means you're like a hoe or something I can't remember what it is but it was completely going off topic wench was in my GCSE paper like it was a word in my GCSE paper and I said it to Hayley and I was like oh my god this word was in here and she was like yeah we had that too and then we just bonded over the word wench so um, wench came over about 7 o'clock and we had pizza and dough balls um, Neil left as well I'm sorry this video is going to be so scatty Neil left the house he came home from work and got himself sorted and he left at about I think he left about half past six because he had to go and drop off the flowers the leftover ones I had that I put in jars and he had to go and drop those off at the venue and he went over to his friends and had takeaway so we didn't spend the night before, together before um so went to came over about seven had pizza had dough balls put pee to bed and we just had a really nice chilled night it was really nice to have a nice catch up and I wouldn't have had it any other way it just felt right having like my longest friend there and I had a knock at the door no I didn't she just walked in I think yes she did um Ellie came at about I think it was must have been about half past eight walked in the door and she was like all right and I was like what the hell are you doing here and she brought me a little gift bag and in my gift bag she brought me my little bride nighty, which I just I love it so it says team bride and it's got a little heart um she got all this from Primark and then she also got me this which I absolutely love it's just this beautiful white dressing gown not gonna lie I'm terrified to wash it if you watch me like I'm wearing white today I haven't washed this top since I brought it because I can't wash whites so I am a little bit hesitant to wash this because it's gonna turn grey um but it's this really beautiful like embroidery detailing short dressing gown I love it so she brought my little bride outfit of like for the morning and some flip-flops and then she sort of left so I was like okay random got to about 11 o'clock me and Wench went to bed but we ended up staying up until 1am which is not recommended the night before your wedding especially when you have to get up at six with your toddler not fun so that leads me on to the day of the wedding we woke up at six o'clock and I was so tired. I left P in her cot for about half an hour until she started to cry. She does babble quite a lot. So I left her in her cot, um, gave her a couple of books because I'm a top parent. And then um, I was sort of like dozing. I got up and I wanted to make sure P was okay. So I made sure she was obviously first priority. I gave her her breakfast, scotch pancakes as a little treat because we're all having something different for breakfast. So I did her scotch pancakes, put on some telly for her. And then Ellie got to mine at about it must have been quarter past eight and she beeped on the horn 
and I went outside and literally it makes me laugh so much. I walked outside and I was like, fuck sakes. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it comes across like I'm really unappreciative, but I just wasn't expecting it. It's so funny. So we were going to the venue in Ellie's car. She beeped her horn and went outside and she's put this bloody massive bow with the like the ribbon going up the windscreen on her car and literally that just made me die. And then she got out of her car and she had sunglasses on and rollers. It was just like literally, I'm so happy I caught that bit on, on camera. I wasn't gonna film. And I was already filming and then she beeped on the horn. Honestly, one of the highlights of the day. <laughs> and uh, so then she came in and we had breakfast, we had croissants, we had two croissants each, not like that matters, and tea and jam. And it was just really nice. So nice to have my two best friends together, even though I keep my friends very separate. It was nice that they came together and they just got on really well. We finished breakfast. Um, my friend Georgia came over. She got here, I think she got here about nine. And she was the one that was going to be doing my hair. So she arrived and then Ellie wanted to um, do my something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. So she, well, as soon as I told her I was getting married, she was like, can I be in charge of this? I was like, you can be in charge of all of it because I haven't got anyone to do it for me. So <laughs> she took that all on board. So she did me this card. I just went to go and find it. She made this herself. Old, new, borrowed, blue. So obviously this is what it looks like. Um, and then inside, I'm not going to read it because it did make me cry. So I'll just put it there so you can pause it. Um, but we've got like a little subsection, so something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue, Hindu. I don't want to read the something borrowed because that set me off. So she started giving me presents. So for the something old, um, I got a coat hanger and I loved it. It was blue, so I've put that on my dress. So obviously that's my dress's coat hanger. Something new was my dress. Borrowed, again, like I said, I'm not gonna read it. It's about Uncle Damien. If you're new to my channel and you haven't followed me for a while, my uncle do my uncle got diagnosed with terminal cancer. Um, <clears throat> June, no, he got diagnosed in June 2016. I think he got diagnosed with terminal in September 2016 and he died last year he died in october october 6 2017 so i oh i don't like talking about it i wanted uncle damon to walk me down the aisle and obviously that wasn't the case and it wasn't able to happen um we didn't obviously get married before so um ellie wanted to incorporate something of uncle Jamie just for the wedding and it turned out to be a watch that i didn't oh god i don't want to talk about oh um so they basically neil and ellie spoke to carol my uncle's wife and um they managed to find something that neil could wear and he had a watch it was a gold watch i don't want to go and get it because it's in the front room um and it actually happened to be the watch that uncle damien wore on his wedding day um and i didn't know um when she wrote it in the card i didn't know what it was it just said something along the lines of your husband to be will be wearing it sort of thing and obviously when i saw neil i clocked it straight away because it's a gold watch and i've never seen obviously neil wear it before and it was quite old so that was really really special and like what sort of friend goes to that length to incorporate someone so important to me that couldn't be there then do you know what i mean anyway i'm gonna glaze over that so you can imagine what I was like on the day. I was very, like, that was the only thing that got me and the only thing that made me cry. Um, something in blue was a bit of ribbon that I wrapped around my flowers. And then she just spoke about my Hindu because I didn't have a Hindu because I'm quite funny. Like I said, I don't mix my friends. I keep them very separate. And Ellie, I think she said a passing comment to Neil saying that our Hindu or my Hindu would have literally just been me and Ellie drinking out of willy straws we'll probably be drinking tea out of willy straws eating a chinese on her own so that's why she didn't do one um my cat just walked in so that was that did the gifts and stuff and then um i gave it a couple of minutes and then started doing my makeup i did my makeup myself i will try and do a makeup video um but i did all of that myself um then it was time to do my hair i think we started my hair must have been I think it, it must have been about half past nine. Um, so by that point, I was then out of action. I couldn't do anything. I was just sat there, sort of, and everyone was running around after me. And it was so weird. You all know how independent I am and how I do things on my own. But it was so weird 
and seeing obviously all the girls are getting ready anyway but also seeing them being like right okay i'll do this for Pete. i'll do this or i'll sort this out blah blah, blah. it's crazy like it got to one point and i was having my hair done so i was like should i wear any moisturizer and i was like yeah where is it um and i was like it's in here so she went and got it and then she got down on her knees and was like put your leg here and she started like moisturizing my leg like we used to do in college it was so weird the fact that like my friend was just moisturizing my legs um and then obviously george was doing my hair and then wench was just sorting herself out and running around doing stuff um i remember at one point as well ellie did my washing up which is something that wouldn't go a long way for a lot of people but for me i really appreciated that that she just washed up the breakfast things I don't, I don't know, I just really appreciate that. So whilst I was getting my hair done, um, Ellie also did my eyeshadow. I tried and tried to do my eyeshadow and I just didn't like the way it looked. And then on the day, I was just like, Ellie, sod it, you can do it. I don't care, just get it done. So she did that for me. She also put on my eyelashes. So that sort of brought the whole look together. And then my friend Becky came. So I don't know if a lot of you will remember probably not there's only going to be a handful of you that watched my videos with becky when i came back from the states in 2010 um and then a couple of you might have seen the haul we did a couple of years ago becky again is one of my oldest friends she's my second oldest wench is my first oldest and then becky is my second oldest i met her when i was in year nine at high school so i was 13 so we've been friends for like 12 years um so then when becky got here she got here about half past 10 and she traveled from newmarket and as soon as she got here 10 half 10 time just went like that and i was like i don't know what to do becky got here and then shortly after my dad got there with my stepmom sally and then there were loads of people there and i felt like oh my god i've got no time at all like what the hell have i been doing this morning um so i was literally like running around i'll also quickly point out i forgot to say that whilst um, i was having my hair done i was wearing this i should have been wearing this with a bra because this had to go over my hair like the girls had to like stretch it over me i mean i didn't have a bra on so i stood there like this just like making sure like my nips don't slip because they're literally like biscuits and then the girls are like trying to lift the lift this over my head so i was running around naked trying to put my bra on before my dad got there because i didn't want to see my dad without my bra on and then my dad got there and then i was like right i don't know what on earth's going on but i've got to get busy so I had my hair done i think that was done about quarter half past 10 quarter to 11 and it was like right i've got to brush my teeth i've got to do my makeup like finish doing my lips and stuff i've got to spray my perfume i've got to sort pee out ellie sorted pee out i think she put her in her dress and then she scraped her hair up into a top knot um i asked neil i was like if you were to do her hair how would you do it and he liked it as a top knot and i really like it as a top knot as well so she looked like a little ballerina which was really sweet scraped her hair up into top knot and she had a little bow um i was very really, i was really thankful actually that when my dad and sally got there they were sort of the ones that dealt with pee they were like the child minders and um, they just stepped into their role and just sort of played with her and all of that but pee did get quite clingy i will say um because she doesn't really deal with a lot of people all the time obviously me and my four girlfriends and then dad and sally even though they're all people that she's seen um she gets a little bit overwhelmed so she was like really nestling into me and getting quite emotional and stuff and i was like i don't need this um he looked absolutely stunning and i was so proud of her on the day um then it sort of got to the point where everything was done apart from me getting in my dress so i got in my dress also didn't mention side note ellie was our photographer um ellie was everything this day i literally couldn't have done it without her so i got wench to do up my dress and ellie was taking photos and i'm really happy it was that way like i feel like it was really nice we were just in the bedroom on our own with p p was sat on the bed and p actually took some snaps on my phone whilst wench was putting me in my dress which i really really liked it was just a different angle and it was really sweet obviously i, I haven't seen the ones that ellie's done yet but it was so lovely to see um one on my phone that i didn't know p took um so wench did up my buttons and stuff and ellie was taking photos and it was so nice just to be in here like just us three again um before i did like the big reveal and stuff and if you watch me you'll know that i hate having attention on me and that's why i wanted such a low-key small wedding because i just don't like attention and stuff and i don't i don't like emotion <laughs> um even though i just got emotional just then i was talking about uncle damien i don't i don't like it um and i don't like seeing it and being around it 
I'm not, I'm not, I'm not right. But that's just how I am. Um, so I was dreading doing the whole dress reveal thing because I knew my dad would get emotional. My dad's very emotional. God knows where I get my cold heart from. Um, but uh, I knew that when I obviously walked in the room, dad would get all emotional. I was like, oh God, I'm not ready for this. So um, I, the girls went into the front room because obviously Ellie was taking photos and I walked through and had my heels on. I don't ever wear heels. So I was trotting through with my heels. And um, everyone was like, like literally, everyone was in like a semicircle, and I was literally just being papped with phones. It was the weirdest thing, and that's what it was like all day. Um, so I was being papped by everyone, and Dad was like, "You look beautiful, sweet pea," but like his his voice broke. So obviously I knew he'd win, and I was like, "Nah," I was like, "I'm not even gonna look at you because I don't want to cry. I can't cry. I'm not doing it." <laughs> that's literally what I was like at that point. I think it was quarter past 11 and we had to go because we were getting married at 12. We worked out we were taking two cars but Becky ended up taking hers because we weren't too sure whether she'd have to leave early or not so Becky drove on her own, Georgia went in with Sally and Sally also took P um, so they had taken the car seat out and sorted that out whilst I was getting ready and stuff because after the wedding P was going straight home to my dad's so those three went together and then in in the car I went with, it was Ellie driving, Wench in the front, me and then my dad. So we had to make sure that obviously P and Sally and all of those, they went first because they had to park in Castle Mall where we got married. We got married at the registry office, but the registry office is at the castle. So you have to park in like the shopping mall car park and then walk up. But because I'm the bride, you can park just, you can go straight up um, and park in the bridal space. So they obviously had to go first so they could obviously get out and walk up and all of that. So they left and then um, I did a couple of pictures outside the front house because I was like, last time leaving the house is a miss and all of that. So we got pictures outside the front. So I sat in the back and then we went there and I think I literally got to the wedding like 20 minutes early. Um, everyone was like, you've got to be late to your own wedding. Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I am never late. Like the one day I'm never gonna be late for is my wedding. I don't care if that's tradition or whatever. I'm not being late for my wedding. Well, I was there like 20 minutes early, 15, 20 minutes early, and I was just sat in the car, just casually waiting my wedding dress, worrying that it was gonna crease. Whilst we were waiting at the top, Ellie then had to obviously go and set up in the, um, in the room. So she sort of like introduced herself to everyone. Um, and she was like setting up. Um, and then the registrar came out to meet me. And she was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm just waiting. <laughs> she's like are you worried that people are going to see your dress and I was like yeah and I'm also waiting for 12 o'clock and she sort of spoke through what's going on and I was like okay that's fine and then we also wanted to quickly mention to the lady about with my surname people call me cough tray that's how it's spelled and that's how people say it and I was like no it's coat tree so dad sort of reiterated that um, and then she sort of told us where to go blah blah she came back and Ellie came back and she told me that everyone's in so we're ready for you sort of thing so I was like okay cool let's go and Ellie was like, right. She was like trying to stage me getting out of the car. She's like, can you squat down a little bit more? <laughs> and all of this, it was really funny. Uh, we also had P at this point as well. So Sally had walked up and we were gonna walk in with P. Um, so then we got led round into um, the little waiting area outside of the room. So it's like this corridor here with like seating. Um, and then you've got the room right next door. So I wanna mention, I cannot believe how dry my mouth was. I have never experienced that in my life. I literally felt like I'd been chewing sand. My mouth and my throat was so dry. It literally just went, and I wasn't even nervous. It literally was so dry. I was like, can I have some water? And she was like, yeah, that's fine. They actually gave me bottled water and a glass, which I really appreciated. Then sort of sat down and went through the legalities with me. Um, so when you, before you get married, you have to do a, a license of marriage and they basically just ask you the same questions about you whether you're still working in the current position same with my dad asking my dad like what he does and if it still matches up and they just sort of ran through how it's going to go the service and all of that and i was like okay that's fine she asked if i've got any questions and i said no they also mentioned about me and my name because i am double barreling my surname so i thought when you get married you could sort of pick your name but you can't I don't know what I thought, but I thought when I get married, I could just do like coaching McKenna, which is what I'm going to do. Um, and she was like, no, you have to change that by Deepal afterwards. And I was just like, oh, fuck's sake, like that's such a chore. Um, and I don't want, I didn't want that, but that is 
what you've got to do. She just went through that as well and I was like, okay, that's fine. And then she was like, right, are you ready then? By this point, P was getting very clingy. She knew something was going to go on, but obviously you can't explain to a two-year-old like it's going to be fine um, and the whole plan was that she was either going to walk in front of us um, and then me and my dad or I would hold her hand and obviously hold dad's arm and then we'd walk through together but she got very clingy and she was like nestling into my legs and like not and she was just not game at all so I said to dad I was like take her in and he was like are you sure and I was like yeah and he was like no don't worry she'll be fine and I was he was like let's just go and I was like no I was like you're not listening to me she's not gonna like walking into a room and being shocked and having a lot of eyes on her without seeing neil because she hadn't seen neil at all so i was like if she goes in she sees neil she knows where she's gonna sit she'll be absolutely fine i was like just take her in i don't care because that was the one thing i was really worried about i didn't want p because she can get quite clingy i was worried that she'd either have to be in neil's arms or by our feet or crying and i didn't want that at all i just wanted her to be quiet for like 15 minutes um so dad took her in and she saw neil i've got a couple of photos um she saw neil and that was the point where neil almost went i think he did go um but that was the point where neil got really emotional just seeing p because he was like she looked so beautiful and so happy to see me um which is a shame obviously i didn't see that but i've got photos and stuff so she saw neil give it gave him a cuddle and then she went and sat down with sally and then um, it was time for us to walk in. Dad said she was fine, so I was like, okay, right, let's do this. So we walked round, and in we walked, and it was, I can't really explain it, because it just goes by so fast, like the walk took like five seconds, but I don't know, it's just things you'd like to remember. Walked in, Dad was on my, this side, on my left, um, I get confused with my left and my right, and obviously Neil was then at the end I walked in and Neil didn't turn around and I was like okay this is awkward just staring at the back of his head and then he turned around and he smiled and there's a picture of me going like this <laughs> just like all teeth because I was just really happy to see him um and so then it went we got to the end and we were just like waiting for the music to end like the aisle was not long at all um like I said it only took a couple of seconds and um at the end everyone was like you walked really quickly down the aisle I was like I just walked um so we were all stood at the end like waiting for the music to finish and it went and um, also I'll quickly point out music choices we didn't go for anything we just went for the classical stuff that they provide we don't have a song there was no point because it was so short and I couldn't be bothered to try and find some stuff so we just went with what they had it was my dad me Neil and then Ross which was Neil's best man or best man sorry and then obviously everyone was stood up when we walked in and then everyone sat down and then she started to say in her spiel um, and then she said about dad and would he give me away and he said I will and then he went and sat back down and I think it went dad, Sally, P on Sally's lap, my mum and then my girlfriends and then this side it was Ross, Neil's mum and then Neil's friends and we started going through the ceremony. I can't really remember what happened. All I know is that Neil had really cold, clammy, sweaty hands. I then pointed out the watch I kept watching Ellie as well because you had the table, the registrar and then Ellie was in the corner and I kept watching her and she was like flitting around obviously taking photos and she was like getting tissues out and I was thinking to myself why is she emotional because I'm not. I don't know like where to look, where to stand so I was sort of like on a like on the edge like in between obviously the registrar because I wanted to look at the registrar when she was talking to me but then I also wanted to look at Neil it was really weird. Neil went first he couldn't get his words out, he was dry like me and he made a mistake at one point and I thought to myself, oh, awkward, we'll talk about that afterwards because um, I'm an asshole. And, um, <laughs> and then he, yeah, he's, I, I don't really know what he said but he said his vows first. I don't know if his vows and then I said mine um, and we, I think we both stumbled on the foot on the same bit, I don't know what it was but Neil literally couldn't physically get his words out, whereas me, I just forgot what she said. But his voice was really like, it sounded like he'd have like had like a night out on the town, like, but it wasn't like that at all. I think it was, I don't know what it was, um, but it was, it was funny. Ross stood up and gave us the rings. He put his hand out and I picked my ring and then vice versa. And then that was it. And then they pronounced us husband and wife and all of that. Um, and Ellie missed the kiss. <laughs> So I had to redo it. She was like, I was too busy clapping. So we had to redo that. And then we walked out. And 
that was it that was obviously the ceremony went out into the hallway and did some photo went outside to do like the confetti and stuff um that really got on my nerves because obviously ellie planned everything and ellie was the photographer and sort of dealing with it all no one was listening to her and i was getting really really aggy not badly but it was annoying me that like ellie asked for girls and guys to mix up and go on either side so then we can walk past and Ellie can get our shots and everyone was just like in a semicircle, just chatting and I was like can you listen because we want to get these photos and no one's doing what she's saying it was really getting on my nerves all of our photos and that was a really nice it was a sunspot and it, the wind was right for my dress and my hair but yeah the photos went really well so we did obviously photos with like Neil and the groomsmen and then me Neil and the groomsmen I think and then I don't know if Neil did individual pictures with his friends, but I made sure I got group shots with me and my friends, and then me individually with friends. Then we did me and Neil and his mum, me, my mum, Neil, and then the two mums together. Then we did me, Dan, Sally. Um, so I feel like we've got a really good bunch. Then by that point, after we had our photos taken, we sent everyone else to go down to our venue, and then it was going to be me, Ellie, and Neil obviously taking our couple shots. Um, that was really cringe because we aren't um, like very affectionate people and obviously only wanted like some kissing shots and stuff but we we just we just aren't like that we took pictures of like us just taking the piss and stuff so we did that and we did that around the grounds of the castle mall we we're really lucky with our location and also we were really lucky that we were the only wedding of the day so we were able to leave ellie's car up at the top of the castle so we could take our shots around the grounds which i really liked the time we'd finished taking our photos we had to move the car we weren't allowed to leave it the whole time we moved the car into the castle now car park and um we walked down um to our venue which was a pub which our friend rob um sort of re redecorated and did loads of work there and we went there and we walked in and i remember walking, like ellie was like right wait for me blah, blah blah she went up first and she was like you will you now raise a glass for mr and mrs mckinder or whatever she said and we walked in and everyone was like standing around with champagne we had sort of like a couple of sips of champagne just because i was thirsty that's the first alcohol i've had um in four years i don't drink um at all so that was the first alcohol i've had in a really long time but i literally had a couple of sips and i put it down because i just didn't like it and everyone was like mm, yeah the champagne's really nice i was like i think it tastes like piss because i just think all alcohol like wine especially just tastes like piss not like i have experience but but just not my bag um so then we sort of went ah oh, where we had our venue we had a, a small box room which is where we walked into and then there's a doorway that's open and it leads you through to another room and you had tables, you had the buffet at the end, so imagine the door here, you've got the dividing wall here, you had the buffet table there, and then you had tables and chairs split around. It did get quite divided, which I didn't really like, but what can you do? So I had a long table with me and the girls, and then for some reason Neil's mum came to sit with us, which I'm not going to lie, I don't know if you watched my videos, but it did irritate me, because I was just thinking, why are you sat there, like me and the girls are talking about our things, and she sat there, she was talking about how someone took her gluten-free sandwich, and she was really angry about it and um how she had bowel issues on the monday and i was just sat there and i was like i don't i don't need this on my wedding day <laughs> um yeah so that sort of that sort of irritated me a little bit um so we were sat there and then we had dad mum and sally with p there which is where i thought neil's mum would sit but she chose not to um and then near the like the parents were there and then we had a table here and there were the boys so Neil and his his friends. Like the buffet was okay it was a bit weird so I was expecting like kettle chips when someone says crisps and nuts and nibbles you expect kettle chips but I got popcorn and not very nice like um tortilla chips didn't didn't rate those at all um I just wanted some Aldi cooked crisps would have been well away with those but didn't get those had some banging sausage rolls though they were insane I had some really good wedges had samosas weird but dad liked those so that's good i'm glad he liked those um and then we had dips but no hummus <laughs> so we had like salsa and guacamole i don't eat any of those and we had sandwiches um i requested cheese and pickle um and then everyone else had like the rank ones like prawn mayo Ugh. egg mayo cheese 
um, cheese and ham and stuff like that. But I just stuck to the to cheese and pickle because that's just what I'm like. Cafe, like it was it was okay. It, I mean, I would have rather just gone to Tesco's myself and brought my food, but that's just because I'm fussy. And like, who doesn't love? You know, you get those cocktail sausages for like a pound from Tesco's. Love them. Could have done with a tray of them. Um, I like party party buffet food as opposed to like proper buffet food but we didn't pay for it so i can't complain i'm just i'm not complaining either by the way i'm just telling you what we've got and what i liked and what i didn't like um so yeah and then we stayed there someone took our drink order and i just got a coke um and we stayed there for we must have got there about half past one um and we left there at about i think it was four so we were there for quite a long time. It was just nice just catching up with the girls and just talking about the day and obviously mingling with like my mum and my dad, which sounds really weird saying it in a sentence because my mum and my dad aren't a thing. They never have been. I think they split like since I was nine days old. Um, and it was the first time I've seen each other in eight years. So it was really weird to see them together. Um, and I never expected to be anything more than what it was like it was just so amicable and it was just like I couldn't have asked for anything more it was really nice um, and it was also really nice not to have to worry about P she was doing really really well she was quiet the whole time throughout the ceremony um she not had her photos taken apparently she had a little nap and um, whilst they were waiting for us to get to the venue um and then she was just bombing around running around eating popcorn she just loved it she just got involved and she was so good just cutting the cake i brought the cake myself from marks and spencer's what i brought like i ordered like a victoria sponge i got the cake i ordered but i thought it was a victoria sponge but it was a naked version but it wasn't it was like this weird white chocolate icing like buttercream but with no jam so i, I cut it and i was like what is this um i thought it was gonna be quite dry but it wasn't and everyone really liked it so um cut the cake at that and then it was sort of time to go obviously still went out and spoke to my friends and stuff and then it was time to go another thing that i noticed that i really appreciated which probably a lot of people wouldn't pick up on it but it was got to the end of obviously when we were about to go and because we brought our own things we sort of tidied up our own our own like little items that i wanted to take home but i left them there in the spare room and they're like come and get them in a couple of weeks sort of thing so i was like okay um but i really appreciated how like neil's friends sort of went out of their way and sort of collected things and i don't know why but i remember standing there and i was like this is really nice how people were like oh jess where do you want this and where would you like this it was really nice that people like just did it and weren't asked and it's not like i would have asked anyone anyway but i just appreciated how people like helped us which is something i'm so not used to but, like i remember one of neil's friends jamie he like went around and like collected the candles and i just really appreciated that and like ellie as well again like, this is quite bad ellie beforehand was like you've got to take something from the venue to remember the day so she stole me a glass <laughs> <laughs> she like, put it down her top i was like god's sake but she stole me a glass which i actually use every morning for my juice um so that happened and then we walked up to the cars and sort of said our goodbyes in front of like the car parking ticket machines which is so weird obviously i was walking around in my wedding dress i was in the shopping mall in my wedding dress um but everyone sort of paid for their car park and again that's something i really appreciate is that like some people went separately and they had to pay like £8.50 for car park, which again, for me, is a lot of money. And I just really appreciated how people were like, yes, fine, like I've got it covered. Um, so people pay for the car park and then we just sort of, we left. So I, oh, I'll also quickly mention that was the point where I say goodbye to P. So I don't know where my dad went. I asked Sally and dad, and she said that dad went to go and buy, buy some paper. Bye to him, but I said bye to Sally and I didn't want to make make it like a massive deal saying goodbye to P because she was she was quite tired and I didn't want it to be like oh mummy's going now sort of thing so I just went in and I was like love you and I gave her a little kiss um and then that was it I literally just I didn't didn't want to say anything else so we just left and he was like oh I feel a little emotional you're leaving P and I was like I, I'm living in this moment I cannot wait to get to London um so then back in the car I went back with Wench and Ellie yeah um, and then we came back to mine and then Georgia and Becky got there at the same time. They all got their stuff and they all left. Um, Ellie sort of helped me put some stuff in my suitcase um, and she just sort of helped me tidy up and stuff. And then Neil came home um, and Ellie gave me my wedding card as well at that point and it said Mr and Mrs Coachery. I really like that because she said that Neil's under the thumb. <laughs> and Neil sat around and opened our cards and stuff um, which was when we got 
like all of the money because obviously all our money was in the cards and we got quite a lot of money i think we got like 50 pounds from each person covered our cost in london so we couldn't have done it well we could have done but that made our time so we knew that sort of we had enough money for like meals and stuff out in London. But Neil came home, he got undressed, I got changed. Um, I went in this little blue jumpsuit from Primark. Um, loved it, really comfy. We got in the car, We I remember we were at the petrol station at five o'clock and I thought, why are we leaving so late? I wish it was an hour earlier. Um, but we left at five put in some fuel we originally going to be parking in epping um but went sh the day before obviously on the wednesday i was like just park at my dad's like, my dad's not going to be there well, my dad doesn't drive you can just park at his so we parked at um her dad's and he lives a lot closer in i think he lives zone four whereas epping was like out out um and it worked out that if we parked in epping it would have taken an hour just to get into central um whereas we parked a lot further in so we got into um london i remember we were sat in, in at her dad's drive at half past seven and i was like neil we have got to make these phone calls because my video was scheduled to go live at eight o'clock so i needed to make sure again first world problems i needed to make sure my instagram and my facebook pictures went up before then um and we had to call Neil's dad and his two brothers to give them the news. Now I'm going to go into their reactions in my Q&A. One was not so great. <laughs> we made the phone calls. We then got um, out of the car and we walked up to a tube station. And then we got in the tube and we ended up in our hotel room at half nine. And I think that is where I'm going to leave my wedding day walk talk through video i don't think i've ever sat down and spoken so long in front of my camera ever maybe for my um, labor and delivery story but honestly my mouth is so dry leave me a comment let me know your thoughts um, i'm sorry this is so long i just wanted to get it all out there I had a really really lovely day i'm not one for weddings i think they're overpriced i think they're overrated and i think people make them out but no people um think about others when it should be about yourself and i've got really high opinions on this um and my outlook on it is i don't give a shit what anyone else wants it's my day and i'm gonna do what i want and that's exactly what we did and i had the best day and the one thing that i felt coming out of our wedding like on the day on the drive down there i kept saying to neil like like I feel so loved from other people obviously I married Neil and we married each other for the love we have for each other but the love we received from everyone else just blew me away I don't have a lot of support in the week um and I do struggle but to see that everyone came around to support us on our wedding day I just can't describe that feeling it was just insane and like reading people's cards and their messages and all of that it was just so lovely and i just i just went away from that feeling loved and that also again transpires to the comments i received on my youtube and on my instagram com or like on my instagram pictures everyone was so happy for us and it's it's crazy how i've built this community and everyone is so pleased and i i just can't i can't describe how nice it is to feel that much support and that much love from other people people that don't even know me in real life it's just it's just undescribable so yeah i'm gonna end it i hope you've all enjoyed today's video leave me a comment let me know your thoughts about how we did it um i'd be interested to know but i will be doing my q a's i've got quite a lot of um questions so i'll probably split them up into two or three parts so i hope you're looking forward to that um i'm hope i hope you're not going to get bored of the wedding content i've got quite a lot to film um but yeah thank you for sticking by thank you for all of the support and i will see you all in my next video bye